Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to my playthrough as the mighty Portugal here in EU4. Uh, we're, we're actually doing quite well, we've battered Spain, Spain has crumbled, I don't know what she did. She lost all her allies and everything went wrong for her. All her colonies have split, um, split off and run away, and yeah, so Spain is... I think she's lost almost everything, actually. Yeah. Well, um, she's got a few little bits here which are being battered by others as well. So, um, yeah, we'll have to have some fun, potentially nomming some of that up, uh, bringing it into the uh, Portuguese hegemony. Uh, but yeah, um, and we've captured some territory over here. Anyway, uh, this keeps. Coming up, it keeps saying I've got a trade embargo of them, and I cancel it every time, and it comes back every time alone, and I'm really confused by it. Um, uh, uncontested claims, don't care. Ooh, Milan has... Who... Who is disputing Milan? Because I have a royal... Oh, no, I don't have a marriage with them. Oh, I would accept. Not just a war with them. Anyway. I am going to dissolve this alliance and grab one with Milan. Because uh, actually that's useful. And we're very, very overextended. I am coring everything. Um, that's all Spanish stuff. And obviously we've got lots and lots of... of People, I'm gonna harsh treatment because I don't want to be dealing with any of that at the moment. Uh, there are lots of rebels because of that, but we'll get there. Right, you autonomously, right? Unrest, unrest. So it is the color rather than the stripes. He is generally okay now. Oh, that probably think means it's already being suppressed. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. That's fine, right, Milan, Milan, Milan. I love you, Milan. Be my friend. Oh, God damn it! that's giving me too many diplomatic relations again. I thought I broke one. That's why I was like, why am I allied with Trent? Hmm. I'm actually tempted to drop the Papal State as an ally. Um, yeah, I'm going to dissolve my alliance with the Papal State. Uh, Milan, France. Oh no, Malwa is probably best. Because actually I'm not worried about fight wars down here. There we go, that solves that. No, I apparently still have too many diplomatic relations. Oh god, does military access count? So Baglana, where's Baglana? Oh, I wish they 
how is an easy way of getting back to my own nation? There probably is, which I don't know. Right, military access. Hang on, it's gone now. God damn it. Right, let's just see what happens if I re ally with Ireland then. Oh, Ireland won't now. They, they now don't like me. Okay, that's fine. I can deal with that. on there or Congo so Congo and Mysore I have claims on I'm not planning on going into wars anytime soon but yes I will have a royal marriage from Milan now. God damn. Uh, we're doing okay. I just need to get them into port as soon as they get there. Nope. Inventiveness is decreasing. Not much I can do about that. That is slowly dropping off. I love the fact we get so many more things in here now. Um, I don't think I actually need both Morocco, Moroccan. I have to try that. It costs me culture to do it. Because I think they actually all stay. Because they're all the same culture group, I think. Culture, 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 culture. There's got to be a culture one. So yeah, they're all the same culture group. Maybe it just up them automatically. I don't know if it will work on future ones, but we'll see. Good God, I need to get that <laughs> extension lower. And as we core out these, though, of course, this is going to skyrocket. Which will also be useful. Oh, chilly. And the nice thing about taking any territory there is it doesn't really affect my overextension, so... Mm, can't quite afford to repay that, that's fine. It's okay at the moment. Ooh, we're spending a bit on rooting out corruption, though. Uh, we're still behind on that. Uh... Well, it increases naval maintenance, but colonial range, trade range, gives us merchantmen as well. Uh, 
can I actually make merchantmen? What does that do? Oh, they're just the upgraded transports. Derp, derp. Let's get them down there for a future small war with Malacca. I'm not not rushing any wars with Malacca. I want to get that loan paid off first. The Mamluks are what really worry me. I would like to get more in Africa, but they are. Kind of terrifying the Songhai as well are getting quite uppity. Uh, our allied Benin down here. So I could take them. If I moved everything in, I could probably quite happily deal with both of those, but. Ooh, a treasure fleet! Oh, it's 600 to repay it. There we go. Ooh, Milan is having some internal conflicts. Let's burn that off. There we go. It's a nice sort of cluster of alliances there. I, I, I don't have a reasonable re re way, way to... Oh, no, I do. Oh, but none of my vassals would join. And, yeah, I don't think that's worth it. Island is... Ooh, interesting. Basically, other than nomming up Spain, I, I kind of want to stay out of European politics. Oh, that is still held by Spain. I thought that had split off. <laughs> Probably split off in my next Spanish conquest. I want to get myself bordering France next time. Um... What the hell? Oh, all my cores. Um, foreign quarter. We must respect the wishes. Extra trade power is always good. hopefully push this up because it'll have given us much more well it would have reduced the overall autonomy in all of these uh come on oh so close Oh, dubious spending practices. Uh, no. So Sevilla needs coring, which I need to build up some power for. 
I could use more admin power. Let's have a look where my focuses are at the moment. Oh god, I don't have a Diplo advisor at the moment. Uh, trade efficiency! For even more money! 102! Yes, we will have a royal marriage with France. Oh god, Milan is riven as well by these Protestant rebels. Well, I don't know if they're Protestant rebels, but they're riven by rebels. And French pretenders. Alright, let's go to speed four for now. Wars of French religion. Send troops. Let's see, they're allied with all of them who I am plotting against. <laughs> Let's be honest. <laughs> Got somebody up there. Some lovely trade buffs going there. Let's call them out. And my overextension is now back down to zero. Oh, what? They can have some extra local autonomy there. Uh, I didn't think I could. I didn't realise I could get rebellions in my colonies. Of course I can get goddamn rebellions in my colonies. My colony is actually going to deal with them. Portuguese Australia now is looking beautiful. I really need more naval manpower. I'll lose the government reform, because it's not like I'm low on governmental reform. Who will join them? God damn you, Malwa! So I have 20 there. <sighs> 
Let's get one on Batak. And Defender of Faith myself. I'm going to do this. It's a risky war, but I'm fairly sure I can actually win it. Here we're going to be a bit more defensive. And most of our aggression is going to be here. Let's slow down time. I may end up hiring some mercs. Oh, I wish I could easily go and look at these things. Where's Glacier? If you want to capture here straight away, then we'll push out here to, to, to close all that off. I completely forgot I had them there. To be fair, they're actually quite useful there um, for a future wars, so I'm not actually going to get rid of them at the moment. Uh, better leave it. I want the buffs. Taking all of this should not be too hard. Who holds that? Spain? Oh! Where are they based? Lugo. Yeah, so up there. That's where I've, I've actually started repressing. Suppressing even, not repressing. I guess Malwa I shouldn't have broken my alliance with, which is why they've sided with my enemies. And who technically beat me at sea, but I'm honestly not worried at all. But basically, I want to control this utterly, because there's a lot of wealth here I can be pushing on. Uh... Well, I say that, there's a bit more wealth, and then Bengal. Basically, all of these areas, I just want to slowly nom up. Oh, here they come. Okay, that's quite a big army. gonna pull back until I can get some more troops there for them. We're doing well here, which is the key area. At the end of the day, it's my trade company, which is being battered a bit there, so it's not terrible if I lose some of it.
Oh, you see, there's loads I can hire there. I'm half tempted just to grab a loan to get somebody. I said we're absolutely battering them there. Let's just grab a single loan, because I can afford a loan or two. Yeah, let's throw an independent army out there oh, to back us up. Now you want to be aggressive with that because it's going to take damage, but it's got time before I need to worry too much. Ooh. You don't care about any of them. Somewhat annoying, but I can cope. There's about to fall, which will potentially open up that route across there. I can also take here. Oh, they've got a teeny little army in my territory. Oh, no. Oh, and they've invaded over there. Hit that small stack. Do I use caravan power much? This is the, my only one which really uses caravan power. But I do finish that, which gets me an extra merchant. There we go. Sending some more ships here because here is getting valuable. Basically, having long routes is always good. Um. Nah. Okay. Of course I do there. That's from my other holdings. could potentially push a bit more down and that's worth a lot more there we go Can't cross because they can travel water. Mm. 
It's fine, I'm getting everything I want at the moment. Let me move those ships for even a second. I will pounce. at the moment, so I do want to be a bit careful with that, but... Oh! Oh, because I'm at war, I can cross other people's territory, of course. Foreign talent. I cannot afford to lose that much. Holland end up with there. Sneaky. to finish this. I could use getting some troops over there, but again, I'm not overly fussed. straight down and put them down. To keep battering them until I can force them out. <laughs> it was worth a try. That is annoying, but I kind of knew it was going to happen unless I brought some ships here. I really should have some ships down here, but... I don't want to be dealing with them just now. say I should beat them. What, where are these armies just a popping up, goddamn popping up from? Australia, send some goddamn troops, please. Oh, at least the admin power. Right. Let's go drive them out of that, that sea.
let's catch some enemies. You can actually stay here. God damn it. Okay, maybe this war is costing me a bit more than I expected. Oh, they're running away now. <laughs> and they have crappy leadership of my mercs. No leadership of my mercs, but with this many troops, they win. And if I last long enough to get my navy down here, perfect. Basically, I want to slowly normal them up and then to bring them in. I'm quite happy with how this is going actually so far. Oh, whoa, 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 what? Whoa, they sent all their armies right around. Um, well, we're going to end with just that. Good God. <laughs> that was a little unexpected. I want to experiment with something now, though. Uh, right, you guys. They are suggesting here is the best place for them. Uh, so, our increased trade will be 11 points to 20. Yeah. 20 I'm a bit surprised the Caribbean's not more valuable for us. Yeah. Total change will be 27. Oh, I thought this automatically did that, right. Ivory Coast, let's try that. The total change will be 37. Let's see if that actually does that. So 
so we are currently making 108 from trade. Okay, yeah, that that worked. <laughs> okay, I've been doing it wrong. I thought if you filtered it, it automatically gave you the best value, which it obviously doesn't. Um, I need more ships out, but that's going to take a while. But now I'm getting to the point where I can actually start recruiting more ships. Oh my god, France, what the hell? Why, why did France not call me in? Anyway, that's where we're going to leave it with France pretty much ruined there. Good God. I'm glad I've got other allies. Um, as always, thank you for watching. I do hope you are enjoying this. Please do feel free to pop any comments in the comment section or jump over to my Discord and say hi. There's a link to my Discord in the comments and the description, as well as links to my Twitter, my Patreon, and my affiliations with Overclockers and Humble Bundle Games. So please check them out. Thanks for watching, guys.